thought Coe said ahead of the games that he wanted this to be about great moments. Ben and Catherine provided some of those as well, David, and that was another one tonight. Tonight, particularly, has been one of the, the emotional nights. Listen, Eames not along right now, but we have got quite a nice selection. For speed, though, now, and it's the men's 4 by 100 metre relay. The fastest man of all time, Usain Bolt, lined up for Jamaica alongside his very best friend, Johan Blake. The Jamaicans were looking for back-to-back -back goals. They were in lane six. The Americans, who hadn't won this since 2000, were outside them in seven. Here's Steve again. Over the crowd even more. <laughs> Tonight, Tom Daly was going for gold for years. He's carried huge expectations on his still very young shoulders. Growing up under our gaze, he was just 14 when he competed in Beijing and finished seventh. Since then, he's become a world and European champion. As well as from going from a young boy, very different place. I imagine, I'm only imagining what boys go through, ping up this Olympic park. OK, we're moving to a different direction, though, now, in a different venue. Eton Dorney has been a fertile hunting ground, with Great Britain picking up four goals in the rowing. Well, today it was the canoe sprint finals. And with a Brit on the water, we're always in with a chance of gold. Yeah, it was a glorious gold for Ed, and Jess Walker came seventh in the women's K1 200 metres, and the kayak double pair of John Schofield and Liam Heath were in action a little bit after. They lined up in lane three, aiming to give Great Britain another piece of that precious metal. Michael's talking about yesterday when things didn't go yeah. quite so well you've just built <coughs> built from this morning and then through to this evening you couldn't yeah. make it. i'm not worried i'm not worried about <laughs> no, that at all. Worried, the first worry. dive tonight though i mean talk about <laughs>